I don't see the president elect as a legitimate president. I think the Russians participated in helping this man get elected, mm -hmm. and they helped destroy the candidacy of Hillary Clinton. With President-elect Trump's inauguration just days away, a number of Democrats have taken their opposition to a whole new level, questioning the legitimacy of Trump's victory. So how will this set the stage for the next four years? Joining me now to weigh in, Democratic Congressman, Congressman Eric Swalwell. Congressman, thanks for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. So a lot of focus morning, uh, has come on uh, Donald Trump's reaction to what John Lewis said. But, and, and Donald Trump is a counterpuncher. But Don, when John Lewis says, and a congressman, a prominent one, a civil rights hero, as everyone acknowledges, that he's not legitimate, um, is it not okay for him to respond? And do you think Donald Trump is legitimate? I admire uh, deeply John Lewis and what he has done and what he continues to do. And there are a cloud of questions. And as the senior Democrat on the CIA subcommittee, I can tell you Russia attacked our democracy. They sought to help Donald Trump. Look at the rest of the evidence. You see a candidate who has talked so favorably about Russia, wants to lift sanctions, wants to roll back our obligations to, the, to NATO. Well, Congressman, you're and making the Russia he, case. I, I yeah. get it, but uh, you didn't answer the question. Yeah. Is Donald Trump legitimate? I think there's a cloud of questions around well, what cloud, happened cloud, and there, his ties to Russia. There could be clouds of questions, and we disagree on things, but, yeah. but on, honestly, I mean, yes or no, is he the legitimately elected president of the United States when he raises his hand? We're counting on our law enforcement community to get to the bottom of these questions. He also won't show his taxes or his financial obligations. When you put all three of those together, there is a powerful case that there was collaboration between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. And so we, the American people, and Donald Trump deserves to have that cleared up. Well, the report that came out, I think you would, you've seen more than I have, obviously, being in, the, in that intelligence world, but it acknowledged that the attempt was first to discredit and defeat Hillary Clinton uh, and undermine our democracy. It just so happened later on that Donald Trump was the Republican candidate. So why, why the conflation that there was a Russian preference uh, from the very beginning of Donald Trump? Yeah, Pete, I'd encourage you to read the most recent public report. It said that he was the preferred candidate that they sought to help. And that's actually why I have introduced a bill to have an independent commission uh, with Elijah Cummings to look at this. And because I think the most important part is the finding that said Russia intends to do this again. This is really about the future of our democracy. So I'm hoping Republicans join me on this because we don't want to see another election have Russia or any other well, country think our elections are open uh, for interference. So, Congressman, there's a concerted effort to delegitimize Donald Trump. There's, there's no doubt, whether it's Russia, protests, all of that. What's the solution? Is it another election? Are you guys talking about well, there, uh, what, where are you going with it? Yeah. There's a concerted effort uh, to find the truth. And let's make, let's make clear, no vote tallies were changed. Donald Trump is going to be the president. But the American people deserve to know if our commander in chief collaborated with or has business ties with or any other uh, coordination with the Russian government. And but those questions have been raised. And, you know, the law enforcement community should get to the bottom of it. The and we're counting on them to do that. Presumably has looked into that. And have you seen evidence that uh, Donald Trump was collaborating with Vladimir Putin to get elected? proactively himself? I'm, enough questions have been raised with the evidence that's out there that hopefully an investigation is taking place right now. So back to the last question that I had, though. What is the next step? Where, where do you go? I mean, so you talk about an investigation. Let's say they find that there is a collaboration because there likely was not. Um, what's next? Is he a legitimate president then? We're rooting for the success of our president. Look, if, if the pilot doesn't succeed, the whole plane goes down. So we want Donald Trump to succeed. However, if there was coordination with the Russian government, the American people need to know. And again, we're counting on our intelligence community to get to the bottom of that. No, I appreciate that spirit, wanting Donald Trump to succeed and the inauguration, a celebration of the peaceful transfer of power, uh, a good way to end it. Congressman, thanks for joining us this morning. Great. Thank you.